Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about black and white, color balance, and equalize. So we have this image that I found on the internet of this beautiful lion looking up at the snow, and the image by itself is already great. But maybe we wanted to change it to black and white, or maybe exaggerate it. What could we do? We could first duplicate the layer, of course, but we're not going to do that. We can go to Image, Adjustment, Desaturate, which is Control shift u and that will desaturate the color, but it looks kind of ugh, so I'm not kind of happy with it. So press Control Z. All right. Maybe I don't want a black and white. Maybe I want it exaggerated a little. I can go to Image Adjustment, Equalize. That looks nice. Equalize will exaggerate the contrast between pixels that are close in color. Okay. So basically, you can see where stray specks are, where soft edges in. Good for um, drop shadow checking, you would say. Okay, so let me press Control Z. Another way is to use an adjustment layer, and a very popular one would be black and white. Okay, when you open up the black and white, you have many options. You have this um, on target here where you can click and drag, and you can raise or lower and see what color it affects. As you can see, it's affecting the, the yellow. You can tint the image automatically if you want to a nice sepia tone. You can click auto for it to use its functions. You can choose custom, like a blue filter, or darker, or green filter, or high contrast, or infrared. You have many options to use with them black and white, but I prefer to just adjust it myself. So I'm going to maybe raise the red a little so I can have more of his face showing. Okay, increase the yellow, but not too much. Take the green and darken it. And some of the sliders will not um, provide anything to the image. Sometimes you have to slide them back and forth to see. Okay, so those we don't really worry about. And then once I have my image the way that I like, then I can go and choose another um, adjustment layer called Color Balance. And color balance allows me um, always make sure preserve, preserve lumi luminosity is checked. Allows me to adjust the colors of cyan, red, green, magenta, yellow, and blue for shadows, midtone, and highlights. And the way that it's set up is complementary color. So if there's cyan in the image, you apply red to remove cyan. If there's red, you apply cyan to remove red. Magenta, you apply green. If there's green, you apply magenta and yellow. You apply blue. If there's blue, you apply yellow. But what's also great about it is that you can take the shadows, let's say, and make them yellow. Okay. And then maybe go to the highlight. Maybe make it a little red. Okay. And then the midtones. Bring that down to a little magenta. And now you have a different image than when you began with. So there is the black and white, which was nice. Okay. So here's our original image. Black and white we applied. And we don't have to stop there. We can choose a color. Now watch this. I could take the background, right click, duplicate it, or press Control J, bring it to the top, and change its blend mode to multiply, reduce the opacity, and make it an even better image. So there are many ways that you can use adjustment layers, the image, um, black and white, and maybe even the equalize command. In the next lesson, we'll learn some more.